arguably the motor car is the most important invention of the 20th century. It brought mobility to the masses, it gave people enormous freedom to work where they wanted, to go on holiday where they wanted, to live where they wanted. And therefore I think one could say, even compared with television, that it's had a very, very important effect on all our lives. The whole of our social life has been changed, the way we live, the way we work and so on. So for me the motor car certainly beats television as being the most influential effect on everybody's lives in the 20th century. It's strange to think, and almost as hard to believe now, but there was a time before cars. In those long distant days, people didn't get around in the same way as they do now. In the country, folk rarely ventured more than five or so miles from the village or community where they lived. Life in the towns was more hectic, as there were trams, horse-drawn buses, and for the once a year week away with the factory workforce, there were the railways. Generally though, people's horizons were much less extended than ours. Going abroad to them must have been as likely as a trip to the moon. Although the car was invented 20 years earlier, it is in the 20th century that the impact of the automobile is fully felt. At the dawn of the new century, the automobile's future is far from assured. At the turn of the century, I think it was very difficult, certainly very difficult if you compare it with today's motoring. The cars were crude, um, unreliable, and in particular, the roads were bad. Tires were not very good, some were solid, but those that were pneumatic would pick up flints and hobnails from horses. Remember, most of the traffic on the road would have been horse-drawn traffic, and so punctures were very commonplace. The other thing I think to remember is that very few of the cars had windscreens as we would know them today. They were completely open. Therefore, the protection that's afforded now by your saloon car, uh, you would have to provide in, 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 in the means of coats and scarves and hats and goggles and all sorts of things like that. Just imagine, you know, driving home from a bridge party in November in a completely and utterly open car at about five or ten miles an hour in the pouring rain, and you've got some idea of what motoring was like.